Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're just going to create, um, I'm going to show you how to create RSS feeds for separate content apps that you made in CCK, obviously in Drupal. Um, now, let me first point out that I've got a re really bad cold today and you can probably hear it in my voice so much so that I've, I've actually got the day off school ill because I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I couldn't face going into school because I just feel so rotten. But hey, I felt like doing a video for you guys. So, um, sorry if you can't see, hear me very well in this video or if I don't sound that enthusiastic. Um, it's just because I'm ill, but it's, hopefully you can get something out of it. So let's dive in and use views to create a um RSS feed for a content type. Um now I'm on my Drupal homepage here and I've got several nodes and if I click that if I click the RSS icon I'm gonna notice that there's a feed but there's not just a feed for events. What if I wanted to make a feed there? only showed events well, well the the full feed shows media files and if I go onto an event made by my custom event content that I made in CCK there's no RSS feed up there um so that's what we're gonna use views for um and it's just really simple so we're gonna go into administer site building and then views um now we have a couple of views set up here already but all we're gonna do is just add a new view Um now if we look we're, we're gonna our view name we're gonna want to just name it something generic but meaningful. Um so I'm just gonna call mine event underscore RSS or event feed and you can only use a strict um characters and be because i am um, because the event is a node type i.e content is a node then i wanted the least node so i'm gonna leave the view type as node Now, much to my embarrassment, as I found out when I last tried to do this, to do this you have to um, configure the default display first um, before you can do this. So, all we're going to want to configure is, is we really want to change the fields to nodes because we, we don't want to list anything specific. And we're just going to leave that as there. If you don't want to display links, then yeah, that's fine. But if you, if you want to display comment, comments on them, then you can do that as well. But you don't normally have comments on a feed. Um, so I'm just going to update that. I can now go over to this drop down and add a display, which is a feed. So I'm just going to click feed and click add display. We need to first give it a name. 
which we can choose to make it our site name. I'm just going to pick event feed the people are actually going to see that that's just for our benefit um, and well, we're also going to once just set the title and in this case we're going to use the site title but you could use another one if you want to um, and we're gonna where it says road star and it says this in views plugin this is a bit misleading because you're just going to click that and then select node. When you do with RSS, you're always dealing with no. So, um, in my case, I want the title plus teaser. So that means it's only going to... I don't want the full text because that's too much for an RSS feed. But it's, it's going to display, in my case, the event description and the some of the event description like the first paragraph and the title so that's the one I want to choose but you can do however you want um, and you know they have more things in a feed than you would in a anything else so I'll just leave that there um, It, you don't normally need to mess about with header and footer because that's not really that's not really needed on a feed. Um. Now let's get into actually specifying what kind of content we want to show. Um. And it says that the fields are already dictated by the style so what we're going to do first is say that the path to our say that the path to our feed oh, is slash event Last feed. Um, I'm just gonna update that so that's where users are gonna be able to find my feed. Um, I'm gonna attach it to the default. To be fair, I don't know what this does, but it it makes it work. So, um. So you just need to select it. Um so that's all the feed specific settings. Now we need to get into specifying what what kind of um what how we want to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that it, it sorts, I'm going to add a sort criteria because feeds generally go in chronological order and I'm going to go to node and say when the node was posted. And I'm not going to bother around granularity all I need to bother about is the fact that it's in descending order so, so it go it starts with the latest one yep 
you I wouldn't normally tweak that, but it's a good thing to tweak for RSS feeds. Um now here's where it gets important. The filters. You're gonna wanna select two things from the node um drop down. You're gonna wanna filter by whether it's published or not. Um this means that um if if it's not published then it won't it won't show the feed. So if the person that administers the site hasn't meant it to be published, no one will see it in the feed, which is just kind of common sense. And the other one you want to select is um, allowing it to only show that feed. So we're going to try the node type. And then, and then when you click add, it's going to come up with um each of the settings for each thing so we're gonna uh, s say that uh, we want we we want publish to be yes you could create an RSS feed of all things that weren't published theoretically but that'd be just ludicrous that defeat the whole point of RSS I'm going to update that. So now I'm going to ask me for information on the other one I selected, which is, um, I'm going to say is one of event. That means, um, Uh, the uh, all the content that you're gonna show in this feed belongs to the event content type, or you could say it's not one, but that again would that would just be ludicrous. Um, so we're gonna update that, and that should be done. We're gonna make sure we save. And now there should be an RSS feed at event slash feed. So I I'm gonna go to that URL and show you guys what it looks like. Um, if I go to that URL Um, and then I paste it in there. It's going to take me to an RSS feed of all the things on that content type. Um, the RSS feed has a site title and has all the articles um, and it's in chronological order and it would display 10 items just like we specified so 
to prove that this is actually a working feed. I'll just go into my event hunter type. and create an event. Um so it can be in this session we shall learn how to use views so that's the name of my event if I just specify a date after this and then I save that um and then if I go back go back to my feed and refresh there's a new event that I created with the name the date and the teaser so that was how to create an RSS feed in, in views very very simple and uh, I hope you enjoyed and got something out of this video thanks for watching